Hey, this is Steve Overton with Zencoast Consulting. In this example, I'm going to demonstrate how we can visualize SARS that are filed for my bank. And again, this is a national bank, and we're looking at it using SAS Visual Analytics. And right here on the left, we have what's called a geomap. What I can do is I can see here I've got bubbles by state. And what we're going to do is we're going to drill into the zip code next. But what I want to mention is that each bubble is basically uh, the, the size of the bubble represents the volume of SARS, while the color of it represents the, the suspicious activity amount. And I can take my slider up here on the right and adjust my date range. If I want to see things at a much broader scale, I can set my, my time threshold to a much wider, uh, a much wider scale. And what I can do from here is I can select any bubble, and as you, if you notice here on the right, the uh, the my distribution uh, my bar chart actually you know, updates on the fly, and these primary fraud types. What this is is it's basically a uh, it's the single primary fraud type that was selected on the SAR. So if you're an ADML manager, you probably know that there's many different types of fraud that you can select and you can check off as a part of the SAR form. Uh, what this does is we've got the logic behind the scenes to help us pick the primary fraud type which that could be determined from the investigation, it could be assumed. I've seen some banks look at um, using some type of precedence or hierarchy to determine what, what is the single pro primary fraud type. Um, that's a much longer discussion, but that's basically what's going on here. And what I can do is I can highlight any, any state, and let's say we wanted to look at uh, for the state of Florida, for this specific date range, I want to drill into the SARS that were filed for um, suspicion concerning the source of funds. I can double click and here is a detailed listing of those SARS. And again from here I can export, print a PDF or I can go back and have some more fun. So what I'm going to do next is let's zoom in a little bit further. Now we're going to drill down on the state of Florida. And you can see how pretty cool it gets here because we can start drilling down and, and look at things very uh, at a very granular level on a, a geospatial map. So if I want to focus on, on Disney World, <laughs> we can focus on the Orlando area and we can see what SARS are being filed over here around Disney World. And we can see for this specific time frame there's been a lot of SARS filed for, again, suspicious concerning the uh, source of funds. Or if I can select any other area, I can see different ranges and different volumes of SARS being filed, as well as drill into the details. So again, another summary level report. Uh, concepts here is that, that I'm a manager, I'm an AML manager, and I just simply want to get some understanding as to where SARS are being filed, um, over a broad period of time um, and, and then analyze our primary fraud types but then from there drill into the, the specific SARS filed that make up that specific slice of data.